You know, we're running like a modified version of Mortal Kombat engine. Warner Bros. have a pretty good relationship with DC Comics. Um, it seemed like a perfect fit to uh, kind of, you know, merge those things. Uh, we did you know, the Mortal Kombat versus DC uh, a while back, and that was really cool. And uh, we kind of got attached to the characters, and uh, being able to do like just a, a full-on, you know, just DC Universe-only fighting game. Uh, I think it's something the fans have been waiting on, and something uh, I've personally been waiting on. Something that, uh, you know, getting rid of the Mortal Kombat characters, having just fully, you know, DC stuff, it allows us to kind of do some, some bigger things. Uh, you know, we have characters like Superman, um, you know, Solomon Grunny, some of these like really, you know, power characters. We can kind of do things that are, you know, larger than life. Uh, plus, we can draw on all the rich history of all the different, like, you know, background environments think that we can use, uh, throwing cars around, knocking people through buildings, you know, stuff that traditionally, you know, Mortal Kombat doesn't do. Uh, yeah, so what we're calling the uh, heroic traits or hero traits, uh, we'll, we'll come up with a, a better name later. Um, but the idea is that uh, each character has a, uh, a customized way to, um, to fight that completely changes the way their, uh, uh, their character plays against someone else. Uh, for a good example is uh, Harley Quinn, you know, she's kind of psychotic and, you know, and out there. Uh, so she has like a, what we're calling the bag of tricks, where she can pull a random item out of this, uh, this bag and, you know, it may give her a buff, it may give her, you know, increased health, increased damage, it could be an explosive. Um, so the idea is, you know, it's uh, that everyone has like this special thing that makes them, you know, super specific. Uh, yeah, so basically they kind of take the place of Mortal Kombat sex rays. There's super over the top, crazy wild stuff like, uh, uh, you know, Flash hitting you and then like running all the way around the Earth, you know, to deliver like a, a crazy attack. Uh, or Superman punching you into space and then like sending you back down to Earth. Uh, you know, it's just bigger, just crazier stuff. I like Mortal Kombat, some of them we're kind of known for is like the rich single player experience. Um, we do have a very epic story mode written by um, our Mortal Kombat story guys in house, but with help from uh, some of the DC guys like uh, Jimmy Palmiotti. Um, so um, it's, I've read the script, it's pretty crazy. So like take Mortal Kombat story, multiply it by, you know, a million. Some we're certainly known for is like, you're bringing fighting games, like also a single player experience, right? Um, so we're gonna have like the rich multiplayer stuff, you know, obviously the versus play, uh, but we do have very robust single player modes. So um, there'll definitely be something, you know, equivalent to uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Injustice, uh, yeah, God's Among Us. When you hear about the story, it kind of all makes sense. Um, you know, obviously God's Among Us to play on, uh, you know, the, these characters are so over the top and super powerful that, you know, compared to a normal human, they may as well be gods. Uh, and a lot of that kind of plays in and interplays into the story.